Okay, uh, so I'm going to continue this series. Um, so before I get into it, uh, like the video below, subscribe to the channel, and comment below on what you think about what I'm going to talk about. So uh, trying to get to 50 subscribers by the end of the week and uh, 20 likes on the video. So, let's get into it. So, uh, I'm gonna group these next three players into one video. Since they're relievers, there's not really much to talk about. So, it'll go quick for each player. I, I don't really have much to say about each player. But, uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So the twenty, the twenty through twenty-two players on the list, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two on the MLBTR trade candidates list is Michal Givens, Joe Jimenez and Tim Hill. So they're all relievers. They're all relief pitchers. They all have varying degrees of success and uh, time spent, you know, service time. So, I mean, they all strike a lot of guys out. Uh, Givens and Jimenez strike out a lot of a lot more than Tim Hill. Tim Hill strikes out uh, eight point eight five. So actually, eight point eight five for nine. It's not great. I mean, it's it's a lot, but it's not. It's a, a little less than one in it. So, but uh, he also walks less than either of the guys, and he has better control. So that's the trade-off. And, you know, the better control is usually more stable. So. I could see him being the uh, one in five years that you look at back on and say, this guy had a pretty good career. Or this guy's having a pretty good career. But uh, so, and the thing is, neither of them are on good teams. So I could definitely see because of the volatility of relief pitching, I could definitely see their teams trading them. And they're all, they're, they're not, uh, none of them are spring chickens. Uh, Tim Hill's going to be 30 in February. Joe Jimenez is going to be, oh, Actually, Joe, Joe Jimenez is going to be 25 uh, in a couple of weeks. So he's really young. I thought he was older for some reason. But, um, and Mahal Givens is uh, 29. He'll be 30 in May. So he'll be 30 pretty early on in the season. So I could definitely see, I mean, yeah, I mean, for relievers, I don't think age really matters because there are, there haven't been that many relievers in history that have been consistently good. To, you know, they don't follow the same path or trajectory that most players do. 
you know, most players, they, they start out, they're, you know, however good they are, then they get a little better. And then once they're in their early to mid thirties, they start to decline. Now, that's not true of everyone. Some guys start to flame out earlier, which is usually based on their skills. But uh, relievers, I mean, they're so unpredictable. That's why they're relievers. You know, they most of them are failed starters. You know, now you see relievers coming out of college, but you used to not see that, I don't think. I think for the most part, it was, you know, a guy would start in single A and double A and not really, like Adele and Betances, you know, struggle at, struggle with his control and then they move and then the team moves him into the bullpen and then you know guys that throw hard are better suited for the bullpen if they don't have the best control or the biggest repertoire but to stay on Givens, Jimenez and Hill you know, they're all, like I said, Hill has the best control. and But he also strikes out the least out of the three of them. He still strikes out a lot of guys. He's not, it's not like he's striking out six to seven per nine. And like as a reliever, that, that would just be a nightmare to go up there and have a guy you know, to rely on a guy like that. It would just, but he strikes out enough guys and because he doesn't walk a lot of guys, he's able to get away with not striking out as many. But, you know, I don't, I don't see a spot long-term for either of them on their current teams. And, Why not trade? I mean, I think uh, Givens has two years left before he's a free agent. He's a free agent after 2021. And uh, Jimenez has four years left. He's going to be a free agent after 2023. And Hill has... I think five years left. So he'll be a free agent after 2024. So I'd probably rank them in Jimenez, in Gibbons, Jimenez Hill as most likely to be traded. Gibbons most likely. And that's just based purely on uh, service time. And the fact that, you know, once you only have one year of service time, uh, what you could command drops off a lot. But, you know, teams are always looking for relievers. And, you know, do I think any of these three are going to get big guys back? Like, you know, no, I don't think, but you could get uh, a good prospect, not a great prospect back, you know, or maybe look for an underrated prospect. I don't know. But So I do think these three could definitely be traded this off season. If not, they, I, I think they will be traded before they hit free agency. But I mean, it just makes two cents, 
too much sense. Neither team is ready to compete. And, you know, like, there's no reason to keep good relievers around if you're not going to be competing. It's just, you know, trade them to contending teams and get some prospects, get some useful prospects for them. So that's it. Uh, you know, hit the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and uh, give me your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think they'll be traded this off season? What do you think of them as players? Who, maybe who do you think they're going to be traded for? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, you guys know uh, you can check me out on theunusefulidiots.com. Check out what's going on in uh, how to... Uh, Support the channel if you want to help me grow. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, see you in the next video.